Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into a handy tool for anyone working in networking or telecommunications. The Noyafa NF8508 Network Cable Tester. First things first, a big shout out to our friends at Noyafa for sending us over this unit for us to test and review. Let's unbox the unit and take a closer look. The Noyafa NF8508 is a versatile network cable tester designed for professionals in telecommunication networking, and electrical engineering. This multifunctional device integrates nine essential testing functions into a single unit, enhancing efficiency and accuracy in various applications. For the key features, continuity testing. Identifies open circuits, short circuits, and cross wires in LAN cables, ensuring reliable network connections. Next is cable scanning. Utilizes an anti-jamming receiver with adjustable sensitivity to accurately trace and locate target cables even within bundles or group walls. Port flashing sends signals to connected cables causing corresponding ports on network devices to flash facilitating quick identification of connections. Length measurement measures the length of CAT5 and CAT6 cables up to 200 meters, aiding in cable management and troubleshooting. Next one would be POTE testing. Diagnoses power over Ethernet networks by displaying the power supply pins, voltage, polarity, and PSE type, AF or AT standard. OPM or optical power meter measures optical power and loss in single mode optical fibers, supporting wavelengths of 850, 1300, 1310, 1490, 1550, and 1625 mm. Next one would be BFL or Visual Pole Locator emits a red laser to detect and locate fiber breaks, poor connections, bends, or cracks in the optical fibers. Next one would be QC testing, assesses the quality of RJ45 connector creams, ensuring proper transmissions. Next is non-contact voltage detection, NCB, detects AC voltage presence without direct contact, enhancing safety during testing. For the design and usability, the NF8508 features a high-definition screen with intuitive visual icons simplifying navigation through its various models. The device is powered by a built-in 1500mAh lithium battery providing up to 10 hours of operation and it is rechargeable via a universal Type-C cable. An integrated LED flashlight aids in working with dim environments. All right. And now with the talking, let us see it in action. I'll walk you through some of the key functions. But again, we won't be able to cover fiber optic features since we don't have any fiber cable for that test. Let's start with this one. Okay, first let's turn on this transmitter and press and hold. And you'll be able to see that the LCD will give you information that it is currently turned on. Next one would be the receiver. And let's power this on and there is an LED light indicator that it is currently on. Now for the first test or the first function that we're going to do is we're going to use a LAN cable. The function will be the CONT and you'll be able to see here a CONT port where you can actually insert the LAN cable. And of course for the CONT, you need the receiver as well and plug it in on the bottom of this receiver. The purpose of the CONT is to check if the cable that you currently have is either a cross or straight or if there are any issues with this plant cable that you are currently using. So on this one, let's try to check. Okay, the cont is actually highlighted and just click OK. And after that one, type cat 5E, 6 and 6A, press OK to test. Okay, testing. Okay, and as you can see, this one gives us information that it is a straight cable. So for checking on the documentation, what we have here is the test is normal, which is the straight, and this one is for the cross and so on and so forth. So what happens if you did, did it actually plug a LAN cable at the receiver? Just to make sure that it is actually working, working, testing, and you'll be able to see here cable open, meaning that it was not able to test the LAN cable because it is not connected to the receiver. Okay, then press that one again, testing, and there you go, it is working. 
Okay, for the next function or the next test, we're going to test the length. Okay, for this function, we won't need to use the receiver on this function. It will just be needed to connect it to the length port of this transmitter. Okay, for now, let's try to get another LAN cable. Okay, what we have here is actually a lot of LAN cables. This is actually a 30 meters LAN cable. This is around... Um, 5 meters LAN cable and we also have here a 3 meters LAN cable just to check if it will be able to take different types or different length of LAN cables okay so first is let's try to check the 30 meters LAN cable okay this is the black one okay and of course the other end of this LAN cable is in here you'll be able to see this one and let's plug it in on the length port. Okay, and let's go to the length. Okay, this one. Then click OK. Then this one is CAT6 LAN cable. So we need to change the type to CAT6. Okay, there are only two options, CAT5 and CAT6. And for the unit, you can change it to meter, yard, or feet. So for us, we're going to test it in meters and on the middle, we have here start testing. So click OK on this one. Okay, and as you can see, it was able to give us 30.8 meters. So somehow it is actually accurate, maybe a percentage lower or higher than the actual size. Now let's try to go to other line cables, okay? So the 30 meters is actually okay. And let's try the 5 meters LAN cable. This is the blue one. Okay. This is the blue LAN cable. And of course, we're going to hit back and plug it in again on the LAN port. Okay. Then hit test again for this one. Okay, and currently, we are able to hit 5.1 meter in length. Yes, this is actually an accurate result for this tester. Okay, and now, let's go to the short one, which is the 3 meters LAN cable, okay? So, a while ago, we have a really minimal differential regarding the actual length, 0.8 and 0.1. That is actually okay. So now let's go to the 3 meters LAN cable. Okay, this is the 3 meters LAN cable and let's hit okay again to test. Okay, and currently it is giving us 3.5 meters in length. Honestly guys, I have tested this LAN cable and I have used a meter stick or a yard stick regarding this one and it is actually three meters so the 0.5 difference is actually huge okay how about let's try to test using the one meter LAN cable okay and i'm going to plug it in again in the length okay and hit test again okay and as you can see it is giving us zero meter zero meters and 2.0 meter on three six and four five for the twisted cable and guys yes actually there is a problem regarding if you're going to test on the less than five meters line cable okay because as you can see here on the instruction manual it is also indicated that it's highlighted that Best range will be 5 to 200 meters. The result will be displayed in the pin pairs. Okay, so we have tested the 30 and the 5 meters on cable and it works great. It was able to detect or read by the transmitter. While for the 3 and 1 meter cable, it was not able to give us accurate information regarding the LAN cable that we are using. So that is just a minor, but it is already written on the manual. So no big issue regarding this one. For our next test, we will be using the QC test. So we have done the contest, the length test, and now the QC test. Okay, for the QC test, we will have here our RJ45 that 
end of the LAN cable and of course maybe this is an RJ11 or RJ12 the purpose of the QC test is to check if the wire is really connected to the pin or the manual call it the crystal joint okay just to make sure that everything is working and connected the wire and of course the copper on the end of this connector okay so for the test we will plug it in on the qc test okay so this is an rj45 so we have four twisted pairs and of course there are a total of eight wires and let's hit go for this one and as you can see there is a check mark meaning that all the pins are really connected on the rj45 okay and aside from that one if i remove that one you'll be able to see here that everything is x meaning that there is no LAN cable connected on the QC test or if the wire is not touching those terminal on this RJ45. So how about let's try to check this RJ11 or RJ12. Let's try to plug it in. Okay, as you can see, we have eight wires that are connected on the terminal of this RJ11, RJ12 connector. Okay, and that is for the QC test. For the next function or the fourth function that we're going to explore is the flush. Okay, and we're going again to use a LAN cable here and plug it on the port where there is an indicator that it is for flush. I hope you can see that one on the camera. Okay, and bring it in here. And we have here our eight port PoE switch. Four port for PoE, four port for regular switch. Okay, and we're going to plug it on any of the ports in here. So maybe let's try to do this one. Okay, and let's see what are the information that we will be able to get if we will use that port flash. Okay, and okay. let's try to see here. Currently, it is not blinking on the switch. So hit on the flash. Okay, link test. Okay, and as you can see, it blinked. So indicating that it's okay, it's working. So we have, okay, same time, it blinks at the same time. So we have here 1000 megabytes, I think. And of course, FDX and auto negotiate is the configuration of those ports. And blinking, please observe the indicator light. Okay, those are the information that we will be able to get on the flash function of this tester. Okay. For the next function test, we're going to use the POE tester capability of this device and right now what we have here is our PoE injector from EAP110 for the TP-Link and of course our 8 port PoE switch which we have 4 ports for PoE switch capable PoE plus and we're going to test the power that it will give us when we use it so it can actually prevent your uh, access point from burning or maybe under power so we're going to check on what are the information that we will be getting from this test we're going to use this three meters LAN cable as well and of course it should be connected on the length slash slash plus okay then after that one we're going to test first this eap 110 poe injector and of course we're going to place it on under the poe port okay then after that one let's hit okay Okay, and currently we are able to see that we are getting 23 or around 24 volts for this PoE injector for the EAP110 access point. Okay, and let's remove this one. If you remove that one, you won't be able to see any information because it was not able to read any PoE ports that it is currently connected to. Then after that one, we're going to plug it in on any of the PoE ports, which is 1 to 4. Okay, so plug it on the second one maybe for now. Okay, and let's see the information regarding this one. Okay, I hope you can see this on the tester. Okay, as you can see, we are getting around 52 volts for this PoE switch. So let's try to check how about if we plug it on, on a non-PoE port. Okay. Okay, as you can see, it was not able to detect any power coming from that 
support. So this is actually helpful for your devices. A safety precaution to check first on what is the actual power your PoE switch is giving you to connect your PoE devices, like for example, access points. The next function is the scan function. This one is actually my favorite for it help us for uh, structured cabling or if you have a new project for network cabling, it can be multiple stories building or just single floor. But if you have a lot of LAN cables, it will help us a lot to identify the LAN cable on this terminal on where it is going to. Like for example, in my case, I have here a lot of LAN cables and I'm not really sure on which LAN cable is for the roof deck, ground floor, or on the bedroom. Yes, before I have here uh, labels, but it's old, and I have to relabel them, and this one will help us a lot. You can actually use just uh, simple methods, but it will be longer, it will take time, unlike using this device. Now, let me show you on how to use this for the scan function. This is actually for the tone generator. I'll place this transmitter on the location like for example the roof deck and i can find on which line table it is in here okay so let's place this one on the roof deck okay guys right now this is the LAN cable here on the roof deck and i'm going to place this terminal on the top okay and as you can see we're going to choose scan then click okay then let's just go to G digital mode okay then after that one let's go down again downstairs where all the LAN cables is located okay guys right now we have set it to analog the transmitter on the roof deck and we are now on the second floor to check which LAN cable is for the roof deck okay and you can adjust this one for sensitivity of the LAN cable to receive more signal and we're going to set it to max and right now let's try to check it should have okay okay there is a LAN cable that is allocated for the roof deck on this location so right now let's try to check is it this one no is it this one no is it this one no is it this one yes this is the LAN cable that is for the roof deck this is actually helpful as you can see we don't have to plug each LAN cable for the switch to identify which one is for the roof deck we just need this device okay, again okay I hope you can hear that one on the camera and this is the LAN, that LAN cable as you can see other LAN cables it won't give us any or it won't generate any sound but this one it's the LAN cable for the roof deck okay and that's for the last test. So what's the verdict? Let's break it down. For the pros, multifunctional with nine essential testing features. Second would be user-friendly design with a bright intuitive interface. Third one would be long battery life and a convenient Type-C charging port. Now for the cons or things that needs improvement is length testing that is less accurate under cables under less than five meters but they have already mentioned this one on the manual so i'm not sure it's a big issue but it's just less than five meters honestly that is a small trade-off for everything else that it offers so if you're looking for a reliable all-in-one solution for your networking testing needs the noyafa nf8508 is definitely worth considering i'll leave a link on the description below along with a discount code to save you money if you intend to purchase one. If you have any questions or suggestions, comment down below on the comment section or message me at JK Chavez on FB. Again, guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech reviews. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.